So the new iPhone 13 Pro models are set to get a 120Hz display, but what about the return of Touch ID? Well, a new report is telling us on the latest about this. We also have the latest on what Apple are doing about making enough iPhone 13 models to meet demand, and also the latest on the iPhone 13 Pro release date and price with a summary of everything we know so far. Hi, it's Matt here. So the weeks are now counting down until we see the iPhone 13 models. So for everyone who has seen my videos before, you should know what the format is so far. For everyone new, this video will be giving you the latest leaks or reports first, followed by the release date, and then a summary of the iPhone 13 models with the prices. Also, as there's been reports coming in now for both the iPhone 13 and the 13 Pro models, these leaks are split into two videos now. So we are now in August and it's been a while since WWDC. We now have public betas for all of Apple's new OS's including iOS 15. iOS 15 is giving iPhone users new FaceTime features and iMessage changes to name a few. However, we're expecting a few more software tweaks for the iPhone 12s or the iPhone 13 and for them to be married up with the new hardware put inside. Now a new report showing and patent has come through from Apple. This patent is showing that Apple are looking to add both Touch ID and Face ID under their current screens that they supply in their iPhones. This is really exciting as we know under screen fingerprint scanning is totally possible. Then also recently we have had other smartphones out like from Oppo who have recently put a camera under the screen and it has the ability to recognise your face to unlock it. Apple Face ID is a little bit more sophisticated in firing loads of laser dots at your face to recognise your face structure as well as what you look like. However, if Apple have painted this, it does mean that they are hopeful in the technology. Now, right away as you can guess, this will not be coming in the iPhone 13 models. However, we are hopeful that the Touch ID we have on the iPad Air at the moment, so this is on the standby button, will at least feature on the iPhone 13 models, so fingers crossed. Whilst you're keeping your fingers crossed, I'm keeping mine crossed that we'll be able to get our hands on an iPhone 13 model in 2021. Based on my recent video about supply shortage, a new report has come in that Apple have got another supplier in addition to their current free suppliers that are assembling iPhone 13 models. This new supplier is called Luxshare and they'll be primarily focusing on the assembly of the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max models to meet with the demand they believe they will get with the iPhone later on this year. So again, this is positive news that Apple are making the right decisions to help avoid disappointment. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks that are coming through are not 100% proof that they will come true for the new iPhone. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next iPhone anyway. So right now, this channel is doing a giveaway at the moment, and it is for this. It is for a MacBook Pro M1. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 200,000 subscribers. So if you want to be in a chance to get your hands on this MacBook Pro, all I'd like to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple gear do you plan to get in 2021? Maybe you're planning on getting a new iPhone or a MacBook or even an iPad, for example. Let me know in the comments below. And when we get over 200,000 subscribers, I will be revealing who the winner is but make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, because when we get over that 200,000 mark, you'll want to get the notification of that video of when I announce who the winner is, and it could be you. At the same time as well, if you're feeling good and generous, hit that like button at the same time for this video. So that is the latest on leaks and also the giveaway. So let's do the release date next. So last year, due to the pandemic, it was really the only year we haven't seen a flagship iPhone released in September in the last five years or so. However, with leaks flying around that Apple has started production on the new iPhone earlier this year, it is likely we'll get a September release. In fact, many reports are already showing that this is going to be the case in 2021, with an expected September or early October launch for all the iPhone 13 models. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives believes that the iPhone 13 range will be announced during the third week of September time. That would be a little later than usual since Apple tends to launch iPhones in the first week or second week of that month. 
but this information does suggest that we may be seeing the iPhone 13 release date as September 24th. I should point out this is a fairly good guess and it's based on taking I's prediction at face value. Apple typically holds its iPhone launch event on a Tuesday with pre-orders then starting on that same week on the Friday. Then after this, the first wave of iPhones typically arrive in customer hands the following Friday after that. So this means if Ives is correct, we could be seeing the iPhone 13 launch on September 14th, then pre-orders opening on September 17th, and then the release of the iPhone 13 on September 24th. However, at the end of this year, we will also see other Apple events for other Apple products like MacBooks, iPads, Apple Watch and AirPods and loads more. And if you want the latest information about these products, do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest info about them. So next, let's talk about the iPhone 13 Pro model prices and the best way to do this is to give you a summary of what we know so far for all the models. Let's start with the summary of the iPhone 13 Pro. As I said, many more leaks will come along and they'll be added to this list, so this was subject to change as it were, but this is everything that we know so far. And also in all my other videos coming up in the future for the iPhone 13 Pro models, if there are any kind of leaks that kind of link to any of the information here, I will go over those leaks again. So first of all, the screen. It will be a 6.1 inch screen, just like the iPhone 12 Pro, and it will be an LTPO LED display. This is a slightly different kind of display that we have like inside the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11 and below that for an OLED display. But like I said, other leaks are coming in to talk about that further on in other videos. But the resolution of this display is 2532 by 1170. Also at the same time as well, leaks are showing that we are most likely finally this year going to be getting a ProMotion display and what that basically means in normal language is a 120 hertz refresh rate display. So this basically means that the display will refresh itself 120 times per second. And finally, the iPhone 13 Pro would have caught up with kind of Android rivals that also give this option right now. For storage, we get 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabyte, 512 gigabytes, and for the first time, one terabyte of storage as a According to some new leaks. We're also getting the A15 Bionic, again other leaks have talked about this and the specifications behind this actual chipset and it also comes with 5G connectivity, however Apple will be borrowing a Qualcomm 5G modem again just like what they did in the iPhone 12 models. Again, this iPhone is going to be equipped with 6GB of RAM just like the iPhone 12 Pro and also it will have a stainless steel body frame, what again is very similar to the design we've got on the 12 Pro. But as leaks have told us, the actual frame will be actually slightly thicker to accommodate a bigger battery, what I'll get onto in a mo. On the rear, we will have a triple camera and LiDAR sensor, and as leaks have shown already, there's going to be lots of changes and modifications to those camera setup on the back of the actual iPhone 13 Pro. Then for battery size, we get a bump up over the iPhone 12 Pro in the latest leaks that we've had, and we're going to be getting a 3095 mAh battery. Now for prices, the leaks are a bit over the place to be fair, so I've taken this from one reference, so this could change subject to closer to the launch of the actual iPhone 13 Pro. So starting out, we're going to be getting a 128 gigabyte option, but we'll start at 1,049 US dollars, 256 gigabytes for 1,149 US dollars, 512 gigabytes for 1,349 US dollars, and then finally, one terabyte for 1,549 US dollars. Now moving on to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, there are a lot of shared features with the iPhone 13 Pro, for example, like chipset and RAM size, what I'll get onto in a second. But one of the main big differences has got to be the screen size. So again, we're going to be getting that sort of 6.78 screen and it's going to be an LTPO OLED display. And again, this is that new type of screen technology, what I discussed with the iPhone 13 Pro. The resolution on this display is going to be 2778 by 1280 
duty and again it's going to be finally getting a pro motion 120 hertz display as many leaks have shown this again storage sizes are very similar to the 13 pro where we get 128 gigabytes 256 gigabyte 512 gigabytes and finally a one terabyte storage option as we have seen in previous leaks we're also getting an a15 bionic chipset again what i've spoke about and saying that we've had lots of leaks and lots of details about how that's all going to work and also 5g connectivity with an actual modem borrowed from qualcomm inside it again six gigabytes of ram again that stainless steel frame body very similar to the 13 pro max but like i said in like in the uh, 13 pro it's going to be slightly thicker according to some new leaks because it's going to accommodate for a bigger battery inside on the rear we do have that triple camera and lidar sensor and all of those different bits and pieces have been upgraded as we have seen in leaks and then again battery size is going to be bigger at 4352 milliamps for price again starting with the 128 gigabyte storage option it's going to start at 1149 us dollars 256 gigabytes for 1349 dollars 512 gigabytes for 1449 us dollars and finally one terabyte the newest storage option for 1649 dollars so as per usual with this list of features i'll be keeping it updated as more leaks come on in all the way up to the iphone 13 launch well it's time to wrap this up so don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest iphone news apple news reviews and comparisons please do hit subscribe followed by the bell until next time guys see you soon